What is good YouTube? Today we'll be focusing on Kyrie Irving and learning his different signature size up combos in order to help you break your defender down in NBA 2K23. Now this is a player specific follow up to one of my dribble tutorials which I just published today, link in the description below. But in this video we're going to focus and use what we learned from that video in order to create our signature combos using Kyrie Irving. Alright, so let's get started with the first signature combo and our first signature combo is built on the switchback mechanic for NBA 2K23. Switchback combos are right stick inputs, tapping the right stick from left to right or right to left to your ball hand or non-ball hand. This will execute this nice two dribble animation. So with the ball in your left hand, quickly tapping the right stick left to right will result in this switchback combo right here. With the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick from right to left. Now with the ball in your left hand, quickly tap the right stick from right to left for the second switch back combo. As you can see, it's a different two dribble combo animation. So when building combos, I like to start with these two different switch back combos in order to build my combo and try to see what I can do with my player. So the first combo was a between the legs in and out to a behind the back dribble. Now it's a crossover to a behind the back dribble. And these two moves usually combo well together. So as you can see here, if you combo the two switch back combos back to back, you will execute Kyrie Irving's first signature combo. So with the ball in your left hand, quickly tap the right stick from left to right and then left to right again for our first signature combo. So this is one of the ways that 2K replaced the signature combo from NBA 2K22 which was previously done by holding R2 and tapping up on the right stick. Now you have the freedom to create different types of signature combos as you can see right here. You can launch out of it very quickly. To launch out of any size up, just hold the left stick up left or up right while holding turbo. This will use an adrenaline boost bar by the way. The second signature combo is an extension of our second switchback combo. Basically, we do the second switchback combo repeatedly until we find these different types of animations. So execute multiple switchback combo inputs to your non-ball hand repeatedly for the extended sig combo. You can do up to four times, four sets of different switchback combos depending on your player. So with the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick left to right and then pause. You just want to wait for that first Kyrie animation to play out and then left to right repeatedly to get that extended signature size up combo. Now although this is a signature size up combo that's sort of set already in what you can do, you can always add different types of moves and be creative with how you want to extend the combo or diversify your attack. As you see right here, instead of going to the extended size up combo, I just play around with different sets of animations to get different kinds of combos with Kyrie Irving who has a very diverse dribbling band. So make sure to play around with different animations, different combo setups, and the different pace of inputs in your right stick inputs. We even comboed the first two sets of switchback combos directly into that extended size up combo. Now Kyrie's next signature size up combo is built on your different size up dribble moves. Let's start by using the tween dribble, that is by tapping the right stick left or right to your non-ball hand. This is the starting point for Kyrie Irving's signature size up combo which we will continue to build on. Here as you can see, it's just a tween dribble and what you notice out of that animation is that that little hitch, it's basically the animation telling you that you can combo out of this into something else. Now it's our job to find which move combos well with this size up setup. So now after that slight pause, after that tween dribble setup, tap the right stick up left or up right to the opposite hand to combo into a quick setup crossover. As you can see right here, after that tween dribble, we get a nice hezzy that combos well directly into that crossover. And what do you notice out of the crossover animation? It looks like Kyrie's guiding the ball between his legs, which gives us a clue on what the next input to the combo chain will be. See the hand placement? That's 2K telling you how to combo next into this set of moves. Now this is an important point, tapping the right stick and changing the tempo of this two input right stick combo will give you a different set of setup animations. So the setup animation we're interested in right now is the tween to cross over, so tap the right stick left and then up right. But after tapping the right stick left, you want to delay it a little bit in order to chain directly into that crossover. As you can see right here, if you go quick, you get that nice quick two dribble animation. This is the delay input right here, delaying the tween into the cross gives you that one, that's what we're interested in. And going a bit late gives you this other one, this extended combo, right, as you can see right here. Now the next move in the chain is a right stick tap to the left or right to the opposite hand, basically implementing another tween combo into our combo setup. So right now we're at a three dribble setup, a tween to a crossover into another tween. And as you can see right here, the animation is once again guiding us into what the next chain in this combo animation will be. So with the ball in your right hand, tap the right stick left and then up right. 
and then left again. That will give you this nice three dribble combo chain. And as you can see right there, it's still telling us that, hey, we can extend this input. That hitch in that animation right there tells you that we can still combo this and extend this combo. And you guessed it, quickly tapping the right stick up left or up right to your opposite hand will now combo you into another tween dribble. But you, you know, you might be confused, up left or up right is a crossover, why am I getting another tween dribble? That's because if you quickly combo a left to right input, you will get a switch back combo and not this, this tween combo that we get right here. And as you can see right now, we're blending animations together. This is a nice 4 dribble blended combo that we can use to break our defender down and at any point why this is so dangerous is that you can break out of this and launch into a crossover or attack on the same side for a quick launch. And you can also extend this combo by once again just continuing the tween to crossover input animations, you will get that extended tween dribble dribble animation. Now this requires precision, timing, a methodical pace into inputting these combos because if you go too quick, you will get different types of setups. If you go too slow, you will, your combo will break. And if you go extremely fast, the animation will not continue and the combo will basically die. This is why I wanted to focus on Kyrie Irving as the first dribble deep dive for a specific player. Because although he's such a great dribbler, a lot of his techniques are really based on knowing the inputs, being methodical with your inputs, and really practicing the timing. And this basic framework of the size-up combo we discussed earlier extends into different size-up combo setups. So say instead of starting with a tween dribble, you want to start with a double crossover or a behind-the-back dribble. Basically, you just want to follow the combo progression. Once you enter into that tween animation, you can just left to up right or right to up left repeatedly to combo into your extended Kyrie signature combo. And this is exactly what we do right here. We're playing around with different te tempo setups, different types of signature size up setups, and we still get the same basic framework for the signature Kyrie combo. And the challenging part for each player or each set of size up animations is that, you know, the rhythm is different from each player. Like I can't go from Kyrie very quickly into Steph because it's very, it's a very different dribble style, especially when you go to someone like say, uh, a Dame Lillard who has his own different set of aggressive attacks or Trey Young. You have to practice these dribble moves and make sure that you know the rhythm, you know the animation cues from the different combos and be creative. Don't box yourself into these set combos. Try to see if you can mix in an escape dribble. What about an attacking size up? Let's see if I time my launch differently. Be sure to play around with your different size up animations and see what you can get out of your different combos. As you can see right here, as we play around with Kyrie Irving's different dribble setups and combo that into different animations right there, that's a nice combo into an attacking size up. We can also combo into an escape dribble directly into a hop jumper to the left to give you that nice Kyrie smooth pull up. I mean, it's a little bit slow, but it looks nice, right? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this Kyrie Irving dribble guide. If you made it up to this point, I do appreciate a like, a thumbs up, or a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Who would you like to see get featured next? Subscribe if this was helpful to you and once again, I do appreciate all of you are approaching 10,000 subscribers Which is unreal to me and I couldn't have done it without all of your support Especially the day one OGs from NBA 2k22. I appreciate every single one of you I'll see you in the next set of dribble tutorials and I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace